to all of our Team Unbreakables and Merry Christmas. Um, I wanted to do a quick Facebook Live, as you can see. <sighs> Mr. Unbreakable is not with me today. He's at work, but uh, so it's unusual for me to do these by myself. However, I want to encourage all of our uh, partners. I want to let them all know a prophetic visitation that I had last night. And, you know, when we stand in the gap for you as a ministry and we're praying for you, um, God is speaking just nonstop. So I had a visitation last night and uh, an angel, she came to me and she said, um, I, she knocked on my door and she said, I'm here to um, answer your request. And she said, what would you like me to pray for? And I knew immediately in my spirit, uh, I had one word. I, I could just say one word. Um, you know, there's this awesome communication in the spirit that took place actually in the Garden of Eden when Adam and God, they spoke. It was uninterrupted communication. It was just uninterrupted. So before Adam would even speak, God knew what he was going to say. And before... Um, you know, God would speak. Adam knew what God was going to say. So that's the kind of visitation this was. I knew I could just say one word. So the angel asked, what would you like me to pray for you? And so very quickly I said, overflow, overflow. And she had an angel next to her and the angel had a book and the angel looked at the book and I knew she was looking for this angel's name. And there was a word that went with that angel. So when I said overflow, the angel looked down at her book and next to her name, it said game changer. It said game changer. And so if you look up that word, it's awesome. It means like an event or a circumstance or an idea is going to shift immediately. So I felt to come over on right now and let all of our partners know if you had one word you know, the Bible says for us to just, you know, choose our words wisely, right? We, on one of our Facebook lives, we spoke about every word that we speak, we're going to be held accountable. Every idle word or ineffective word, it's either going to be an ineffective or it's going to be a cursing word or it's going to be um, a word that would uh, um, progress something in our lives. And so, um, so I just, uh, I felt that you were to today ask the Lord for one word right now mine was overflow I don't know about you guys but Pastor Brian and I we need overflow in every area of our life right now absolutely every area because two years ago absolutely everything was taken amen so I would like for you guys to pray right now and think pray and think about the one thing that you would um you would be able to ask the Lord for, okay? So overflow is what we're praying for all of our partners. I was listening to this song by Amanda Cook. Listen to this. I want you guys to just listen to this right now. Amen. Amen. this to minister to your spirits right now in Jesus name because then I'm going to pray for you okay I'm going to be praying for you in just a moment okay so I want this song to go into your spirits right now stay on and just worship with me amen he makes all things new hallelujah new Everything new in your life. This is no joke. Lord, speak to our partners as they're listening right now. 
as they're listening right now, as they're worshiping, as they're setting their mind to worship right now, Father God, let the anointing flow to each one in Jesus' mighty name. Take the bitter into sweet, the bitter into sweet. He turns the bitter into sweet. Hallelujah. To spring, your winter into spring, your winter into spring. Hallelujah. Lord, touch your people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you that you take the bitter waters and you make them sweet. You take all the bitterness and unforgiveness. Hallelujah. All things new, new, you make all things new, new, your winter is about to turn into spring i am telling you i'm having visitations every single night i am making myself do these facebook lives to give you the prophetic word that i'm receiving in my spirit and in prayer and in my dreams Winter into spring, the winter into spring, the winter into spring. Sing a new song. Sing your word. I'm singing my overflow to the Lord. I'm singing my overflow to the Lord. I'm singing it for our team unbreakables. If you can't sing like I can't, sing a song, sing a word, sing a hymn, right? Hum a word, hum a tune in the name of Jesus. Hum a tune to the Lord. Blow your trumpet, sound your trumpet. Overflow in Jesus' name. Pierce the heavens with your cry. Pierce the heavens with your cry. Pierce the heavens with your cry. It's a game changer. Be the one word. Speak the one word to the Lord. Speak the one word from your spirit. You don't have to know how to sing. You don't know have to know how to sing. Just pray the one word. Ask the Lord the one word. Sometimes all you have is one word. What's your one word that you're going to pierce heaven with right now? Make it a game changer. Make it a game changer. Overflow to our partners right now. You change the bitter into sweet. The winter into spring. Go back and play the beginning of this broadcast. I spoke about the visitation I had in the middle of the night last night. An angel has come to record your prayer. What's your one prayer? What's your one word? My first word that came from my spirit was overflow. And that's a game changer. Make all things. Now worship your one word. Worship. Worship. If you can't pray, if you are too hurt, too tired, too bound, too broken, 
The angels of the Lord have come to record your one word. Your one word. Record your one word. Record your one word. All things new. He's come to make your mind new. He's come to make your heart new. You make all things. He's not looking for performers. He's looking for a seed of prosperity that we can send to the heavens. The better and too sweet. The better and too sweet. Sing, my children. Sing your prayers to me. If you can't pray, sing. Oh. Every single one of our partners watching, in Jesus' name, let your presence pierce this broadcast. You take the winter into spring, the winter into spring, the winter into spring. Winter turns to spring. Do you know that your hums, your tunes, your voice is a trumpet? Whisper, sing, hum. Pray. What's your one word today? Pierce the heavens with your one word. I speak newness of life, hope, faith, and love over everyone watching in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost is asking for one word. What's the one encompassing word at this moment? Consider it wisely before you utter your prayers unto the Lord. Have fear and reverence for Him. 
because he wants to answer your prayer. And he's a father that answers our prayers. But sometimes we ask amiss. Ask from your spirit. Draw from the well of life, hope, newness of life in the name of Jesus. Because he's going to make it new. From the White House to the courthouse to the church house. He's burning it all up now. He's burning it all up. He's getting ready to make it new. You have to understand. That's a word from the Lord. I had a visitation last night. It's your time. It's your time. It is your time. You will not lose your mind. You will not lose your hope. You will not lose. You're not a loser. You are a winner. And the time for performing preachers is over. And the time for performing worship leaders is over. Do you understand that? Every bitter marriage in the name of Jesus, I call complete restoration over your marriages in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you right now. Masio, you take yourself off of our live broadcast right now. This is not the devil's music. I command you to get off of our broadcast now in the name of Jesus. And I pray the fire of God over you. You are a Muslim. You are a Muslim, Mr. Some Jazz, Mr. Some As, Maseo. I command you now, that spirit of religion, to break off. I'm glad you joined our broadcast. I'm glad you joined our broadcast because everybody right now is going to be praying over you because you are on our live feed. That spirit of religion that is over you and that has bound you in the mighty name of Jesus, Maseo Sumaj, in the name of Jesus, we command the fire of God to fall over you. All spirits of religion to break over you in the name of Jesus. You are set free right now as you are watching this broadcast. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everybody's praying for you right now. Everybody's praying for you. We, come, we bind that Islam spirit. I'm glad you came on to my broadcast. As a prophet of God, I tear you down, your spirit of religion, coming against our country, coming against our nation, and coming against Christianity. This is a war on religion, and guess what? You lose in Jesus' name. You lose in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allah goes in Jesus' name. Allah bows down to Yeshua Messiah in the name of Jesus, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are bound. We call on every religious spirit to come onto this broadcast in the name of Jesus. You are going to be slain under the power of of God as we speak. We come against every spirit that has come to attack us, every assignment against Team Unbreakables, against myself and Pastor Brian in the name of Jesus and this ministry. In the name of Jesus, every assignment of witchcraft, Every assignment is broken. The spirit of confusion we send back into your camp right now in the name of Jesus. The pit of hell you shall go right back to in Jesus' name. You loose the minds of everyone watching this broadcast. This was supposed to be a worship video for our team Unbreakables, but we got infiltrated by ISIS. And in the mighty name of Jesus, you have come against the wrong prophet. I tear down your spirit. I loose the spirit of the living God to fall fresh on this video. And everyone that is bound by an ISIS spirit, by Allah, the spirit of religion, the Muslim spirit, and spirit of Islam, 
we now cast you into the pit of hell and we release the minds of all of those who have been tormented by the spirit of witchcraft and all of those that have been tormented by the spirit of Islam. You have come now, you have invited yourself onto a prophet's live webcast and now you are, we are calling the fire of heaven on your head right now in the name of Jesus. We command your mind to be loosed in Jesus' mighty name. We bind that spirit that is confusing you and lying to you in Jesus' mighty name and whom the Son, the true Son, sets free is free indeed. So now, Sum Jaws, you are set free by the power of God. Welcome to Truth and Love Ministry International, a frontline prophetic ministry. You are now set free in Jesus' name. Now we loose the spirits of worship, the spirit of worship to go upon you in Jesus' name. We thank you for every Islamic spirit on our broadcast, Lord Jesus. We thank you that the devil is so attracted to the anointing that he can't stay off of this broadcast. And every enemy that's come against us in the mighty name of Jesus, we welcome you. We welcome you to Truth and Love Ministry International because we are going to tear the devil's kingdom down. And you know what? The kingdom of God has suffered violence and the violent will take it back by force. We shall take you back by force and we shall take every captive and set them free. Every prisoner of war, every Christian that gave their lives to Jesus that are bound by the enemy, we now loose the spirit of the living God to fall fresh on you. And I call fire from heaven to consume every schizophrenic spirit in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind you, the spirits of witchcraft and religion, Jezebel, Welcome to Truth and Love Ministry International. You think you ran the prophet Ezekiel or prophet Elisha off and caused him to be scared? You ain't going to scare me in Jesus' name because my fear is in the Lord and it's not in you. We fear the Lord, the God, the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be the Lamb of God, the sacrifice for sinners slain. So guess what? He is no longer a baby in a manger and he's not a man on a cross but he sits at the right hand of his father who is Jehovah Jehovah God not Allah Jehovah God, the God of our forefathers. So we plead the blood of Jesus over this broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus because you come against the wrong ministry. And now we have interrupted this scheduled broadcast and now we are going back to worship because we're not spending another second on you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Now, Satan, enter into worship because you're going to be worshiping at the feet of the G of Jesus because your time is running short. Do what you got to do because Christians are rising up right now. We are the mighty army of God in the name of Jesus. Peace in Jesus' name. You turn the bitter into sweet, the winter into spring, the bitter into sweet. Hallelujah. Right now, I feel the Holy Ghost all throughout my hands. If you are suffering from mental torture, I want you to now place your hands on your head, on your minds. Speak his peace over you. Wholeness, wholeness in Jesus' name over everyone viewing this video right now. I speak the mind of the Lord. The mind of Christ over you. Peace. Jehovah Shalom. You shall be restored to your right mind in Jesus' name. Restored to your right mind in Jesus' name. Come back to your right mind in Jesus' name. Satan, you loose your hands. Loose your hold. 
loose your talons off of the minds of the believers in Jesus' name. All spirits of delusion in Jesus' name. Delusional spirits in Jesus' name. Release now. Release now. Dyslexic spirits in Jesus' now. In Jesus' name now. You are back to your right mind in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord shall come up from your spirit and infiltrate your mind. The bread of life, the word of Yeshua, return. It shall not return void. The word of the Lord that's in your spirit, come back. Return to your, return to your people now. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, Fear not. Fear not. For lo, I am with you, even till the end of the age. For the Spirit of this age has taken the minds of my people. But I have come that you would have peace and that you would experience life abundant. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, it's not over. It's only just begun. This is your new beginning. This is your year of reprieve. For I have taken pity on my people. My heart has heard the cries of my people. I am the great I am and I have not forgotten. Your tears and your prayers have gone up like Jacob's ladder. It has ascended up the ladder and you have said, Lord, Lord, where is my answer? Where is my answer? I sent it up years ago. Oh God, have you forgotten me? Have you forgotten the prayers of my heart? And the Lord would say, no, oh Lord, oh Lord, Lord, Lord. have you think that I have forgotten the prayers of my people? For your prayers are my prayers and my prayers are your prayers. And they have ascended up Jacob's ladder, but now they are descending and the bowls are full and the bowls are being tipped. The bowls are being tipped upon my people and I am tipping. I am tipping it. I have weighed the scales. I have weighed them, says the Lord, and you have been found wanting and I have come to bring your needs. Does not my my words say in Psalm 23, the Lord, the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not be in want. The Lord says, I know you have wanted. I know you have wanted, but I said, you shall not be in a state of wanting. That state of wanting has now come to a conclusion, says the Lord. I am concluding the matter, says God. You are the matter. You are are what matters. I have not forgotten you. Didn't the prophet say in the broadcast last night in Mark chapter 8 that I have pitied and I have taken compassion upon my people for you have been with me many days, says the Lord. And you have been there many, many, many days, says the Lord. And you have stood with me for many years, says the Lord. For a day is as a thousand years and a year is as a thousand days, says God. And I have come to answer the prayers of my people. Do not think that I have not heard your prayers. Many of you have suffered loss beyond what you felt that your heart could even take. Do you not understand? I have held your heart in my hand all of these years. And I am the great physician. And I have held it. And it's beat in the palm of my hand. And now I am getting ready to release your heart. And I'm ready to put it back into your chest. Did I not tell Ezekiel, I shall give you a new heart. The Lord is giving you new heart, says the Lord. I am giving you a new heart for the one that is within your earthly body. It feels as if it is failing you. It feels that it is broken in a million pieces. Oh, but cast your bread upon the water, says the Lord. After many years it shall return turn to you whole. I am the bread of life. I feel the spirit of the Lord within my womb, people. Let me tell you, 
I have been praying for you for years. Years I have been interceding for you since I was a child, since I was cast on into the streets, since I was molested, since I was thrown into crack houses, since I was on the streets. Do you understand? Since I was in a 17 year marriage of hell, since I have had everything and lost everything, since I had dear friends with me that said they would never leave me and they all left. Since everyone has stripped me, the Lord has said that he is raising me up for you in this season. In this season, I have come back whole and I have come back new and I have come back in my right mind. You must understand that this is the time. I am going to be calling it all out. I'm calling it all out in the name of Jesus. I'm calling out all the false apostles, all the false preachers, all the false teachers. Calling it all out because we are going to clean the church house people together. Team Unbreakable. Team Unbreakable. We are calling it out and we are going to bring healing to the body of Christ. And there are many POWs that are lost and they are wounded. Many have gone to the enemy's camp. Oh, trust me. Many have gone to the enemy's camp. But they have been taken captive into the enemy's camp. Many of you. And God said, we are going to come and rescue you. Truth and Love Ministry International, my husband, Mr. Unbreakable, Pastor Brian Warren, all of us, we are going to come back together as a mighty team. We are not raising up one ministry to be some star on a stage. We have come as a ministry to take as many Team Unbreakables as we can. And together, we're going to be a frontline ministry and we're going to tear the devil's kingdom down and we're going to do it together. Do you understand? Many are for us than are against us. You must see that God is doing a mighty mighty, mighty work in the kingdom, in the kingdom. Now you are going to see such a slaughtering of kingdoms. I'm going to be given the 2017 word. I'm telling you, it's going to be the rise and fall of many kingdoms in 2017. My kingdom come, my will, not my ministers, not my preachers, my will be done on earth. You are the earth people on earth as it already is in heaven. Did I not say pray? Give us this day our daily bread. I am your daily bread, says the Lord. Get in your word. Know who I am. Because if you fall, if you don't fall for me, you're going to fall for anything. Oh, the Lord loves you. He's a jealous God. He doesn't want you to have any other lovers. He does not want you to have any other lovers. He wants you to share the bed of your mind with him and him alone. Do you understand? me? He's a jealous God and he loves you. He loves you so much. And you think he's forgotten you, but he hasn't forgotten you. And my husband and I have been stripped beyond what you can imagine. We don't look like it because my husband is so full of joy and so full of hope. And God sent him to me at this time to preserve the hope of all these years of what I have been praying and waiting for. Please keep us in prayer, you guys. We are praying for you, Team Unbreakables. This is your time. I am not a prophet that I would lie or that I prophesy from my soul. Everything I do is unto the Lord and he's the only one I want to please. So understand me, you guys. He is drawing his people close. I want to end. Please. Not. I don't want you to end this video hearing my voice. I want you to end this. So if you want to disconnect, go ahead. I want you to end hearing the voice of the Lord. Please replay this video at the beginning because I shared the visitation from the angel I had last night. That's why I went on live. So I just want you to end. I'm just going to end it. I'm not going to say a word. I want you to end just worshiping the Lord, okay? That I want you to hear his voice, not mine. All things...
again. You will rise. 